been in front of audiences here uh, a few years in a row. This is by far, by far the biggest one. And I suspect I know the reason for that. Um, you want to know where to go with your state. And you couldn't have chosen a more poignant day, really, to call this meeting. The sudden Toyota announcement will not have come as a complete surprise uh, to many people in this room, but the long-predicted death of the car industry, the car-making industry in Australia, has accelerated more quickly than past generations of policymakers might have expected. I believe, in fact, the federal Labor government, uh, recently in power, was effectively managing the decline of the car manufacturing industry, trying to slow it down, that decline, and trying to lessen the inevitable pain. Well, now the pain is going to come fast, and it's going to be acute, and you'll need more meetings like this, no doubt, to try and find required ways to restructure your economy, to keep manufacturing alive in South Australia. Now, today, as the Governor said, we're looking for solutions, for ideas and strategies to do that. We've got a lot of clever and innovative thinkers on the panel. We've got a lot of expertise and talent and experience in this room, in the audience. So let's see what you and the panel can come up with. And I must say, as a journalist, it's a bit of a rare pleasure, actually, to be seeking solutions rather than just sitting around listening to bickering politicians. Um, so this will be a genuine Q&A. Um, as we've said, there is a way to get involved by Twitter. So some of you will choose to do that. We've also got several microphones mm -hmm. circulating in the room. Uh, and indeed, one of them at some point will have to go to table, I think it is 46, wherever that is, because we've got a few questions that have come in in advance, but I'll be looking for people who are listening and thinking um, about what's been said on the panel and come up with questions spontaneously as well. So some of you have submitted questions. We've got a couple to start us off. Uh, we'll also have a couple of videos um, which will help, uh, in a way, promote further discussion. We've got those videos I think we mentioned to you, and I'll call those up and we'll see them on the big screens shortly. And we've got people from those videos actually in the audience as well. So there's going to be a few different ways to get involved and a few different sources of information here. Um, I'll try and weave the tweets and the questions into the discussion. And at 5.15, what we'll do is we'll sum up. We'll take a pause and we'll sum up the sort of messages that this meeting wants to go out to the people who make decisions. Uh, so let me start by introducing the panel. And uh, I'll get each of our panellists when I name them just to indicate who they are by putting up their hand or nodding or something, <laughs> um, unless in case you don't know some of them. So David Allett to my left, the CEO of BAE <laughs> Systems, a, um, a brilliantly innovative uh, defence manufacturer. Greg Combe, uh, AO, is the Automotive uh, Transformation Coordinator. Many of you know Greg's past uh, as a Labor politician, so I won't go, and, and unionist, so I won't go through any of that. Alf Ianello, uh, down the end, is the CEO of Detmold Group, is a paper and packaging products manufacturer. Joran Roos, the chair of the Advanced Manufacturing Council, and uh, he's actually, as, a, as the Adelaide thinker in residence, has given a lot of people in this room a lot to think about. He's given recommendations. Uh, I've actually managed to read through them, and I hope that we will get to some of the key points in his recommendations, because many of the thoughts that he put together uh, in that paper do resonate today. Um, on the other end of the table, Frank Seeley is a founder and chairman of Seeley International Advanced Manufacturer. Uh, many of you will know this is a very innovative company, so there's a lot to learn from people like Frank. Raymond Spencer is the chair of the Economic Development Board, and Con Trujak, uh, Trij I should say, <laughs> is the chairman, I know him quite well, it's ridiculous, <laughs> I can't say his name, as chairman of partners, KPMG. Please welcome and thank our panel for being here.